Once we arrived in Boston, we were itching to start sightseeing, so we made our way to downtown Boston in the North End District, also known as Boston's Little Italy. When I tell you, it's like walking the streets of Italy. It was so beautiful and this area had such a European flair. We then made our way to Monica's Mercato, which is an Italian deli shop that specializes in Italian sandwiches. So we ordered sandwiches and took them to a little public park nearby and enjoyed the sunshine, filling our bellies and admiring all the architecture that was around us. Boston is so beautiful for the buildings that they have. The street of North End has tons of pastry shops, coffee shops, restaurants, boutiques, endless amount of restaurants. You have plenty of choices. And then we just continued walking the streets, admiring all the, all the architecture in North End District. We even ran into the Paul Revere House and just continue soaking up the history that this city has to offer. We stopped and got some coffee since it was getting quite chilly right before making the next stop, which was Quincy Market. This is a little entertainment area as well. And once you walk inside the market, there's almost, it's almost like a food court where there's tons of food options. So if you don't know where to eat, there's plenty to choose from. Then we finally arrived to our Airbnb and we wanted to go check out the beach late at night. So we ended the night walking on the beach, taking pictures and just soaking in this moment that we get to spend together here as a family. Hello from Boston. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and beautiful day. It is in the 40s, hence why I have on a scarf. But we are going to be exploring more of Boston today and really excited because we're going to be going to a few iconic spots that Boston is known for. One place where we're going to try to go to is go to um, Harvard University. I am so excited to see this mo the prestigious school of Harvard and then we're gonna go ahead and possibly head our way to Beacon Hill which is another iconic spot and then just go to a few more places but I will tell you that I don't know what took me so long to get me here to Boston I highly suggest coming here because it is such a beautiful city I think we've all decided we might make this possibly an annual trip because we love it so much and this time in October the weather is wonderful so I am going to get my shoes on. I always feel like my shoes are always the last thing that I put on before I leave the house, but I'm going to get my shoes on, route, get the gang together, and then we're going to go ahead and head out and go ahead and explore this beautiful city, possibly hit up a coffee shop because you know I cannot function without coffee, and then just enjoy the day. So I am going to get ready and we're going to be on our way. Our first stop of the day is Harvard University, which is a private Ivy League school located in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The acceptance rate of this school is 3% with a graduation rate of 98%. So you basically need a 4.0 GPA average to be accepted. Some notable alumni are Natalie Portman, Mark Zuckerberg, Matt Damian, Tommy Lee Jones, Barack Obama, John F. Kennedy, George Bush, and that's just naming a few. The school is absolutely gorgeous. It's definitely a prestige school and that's the vibes that it gives off. We then continued just to sightsee around the campus and then made our way to their local bookstore. And this is where we bought a few postcards. The kids bought 
t-shirts and sweatshirts just to have a little bit of memorabilia to bring back home. The school is absolutely beautiful and Harvard frequently tops the list in global university rankings with particular strengths in areas like law, business, medicine, and government. I will say that the campus is stunning and we were taking it all in. We then made our way to Beacon Hill and it is known for its charming, narrow cobblestone streets, federal style row houses, and gas lit street lamps. As we were walking, we spotted Cheers, which was established in 1895. One thing is that please wear some comfy shoes because one thing you will do in Boston is do lots of walking. We then stopped and got a quick bite to eat. We spotted this little pizzeria called Upper Crust and it was so delicious. Just exactly what we needed to have more energy to go ahead and enjoy the Boston Public Garden. The minute that I stepped into this garden, I felt like I was in a Hallmark movie. It was so stunning with pops of reds, yellows, oranges. I was definitely in my happy place at this moment. Our next stop was the Boston Public Library, which was founded in 1848. This was the first large free municipal library in the United States. It was also the first public library to lend books, have a branch library, and have a children's room. There is so much history in this library that you can get lost for hours looking at all the architecture, books, every detail and crevice of this library was so beautiful and this was also designed by architect Charles Fallen McKim and this building did open in 1895 and houses the library's research collection, exhibit, exhibition rooms, and a children's room and a renaissance style courtyard. We enjoyed the courtyard for a little bit and decided to hydrate and just rest and admire just like the beauty of this building. After taking a break at the courtyard, we made our way to Newberry Street where there are lots of street vendors selling a lot of art, jewelry, and some really neat stuff. You can also purchase lots of souvenirs from these street vendors, so we enjoyed um, just window shopping for a few minutes and then we started walking down Newberry Street which is similar to Beacon Hill but it has its own vibe so again we continue doing lots of walking and sightseeing. We decided to have one more final stroll through the Boston Harbor and then ended the night back in North End to enjoy a delicious Italian dinner. We have all fallen in love with this city and I am so thankful to create these memories with my family. to head back home. 
We have had such a beautiful, beautiful time here in Boston. I cannot even tell you. If you are curious to come to Boston, I highly recommend you guys coming here and visiting this beautiful city. The city is full of so much culture, good food, good people. The Boston locals have been nothing but nice to us. And I, I, I honestly think the perfect time to come and visit Boston is in October the way we did. The weather could have not been more perfect. The lows were like high 40s and as um, the day goes on, the temperature is about mid 60s to mid 70s as we were sightseeing. So there wasn't a cloud in the sky and it couldn't have been more perfect. But we've had such a awesome time. We created some beautiful memories. The fall foliage was just breathtaking. We loved it so much, but this is probably one of our best family trips that we've taken. And again, the only thing that I recommend is if you're gonna book an Airbnb, book it months, months in advance in October, because October, since a lot of people come and visit Salem, um, Airbnbs kind of go by quickly. So we just kind of got last picking, which is why I didn't do a tour of our Airbnb because it is small and there's eight people here and it's a little bit chaotic. So it's not a time to do a tour of our Airbnb, but we had such an amazing time and created beautiful family memories. And I am so happy that you guys got to come along with us. So I'm going to sign off because we have to head to the airport and I can't wait to see you back home in Texas very soon. Bye guys. <music>